Section 4.2, question one. We're going to sketch the graph of y equals sine x from x equals zero to x equals two pi by making a table using multiple of pi over two for x. The function y equals three times sine x, let's look at the pattern as y equals a multi multiplied by sine of bx. For this problem, a equals three and b equals one. We use a to compute the amplitude. The amplitude is the absolute value of the a, which is the value three, and the value b will be used to compute the period. The period followed by followed by the formula two pi divided by b. Since b is one, the period is two pi. And then to sketch the graph, it's easier to consider the five key points. So five key points for the graph of the side. The five key point is from the points from the four equal sub intervals. That means for the length of one cycle, we break it up into four equal sub intervals. And the delta x, which is the increment, will be the period divided by four the value two pi is the period. That means the increment will go by pi over two. That's the reason that the table provided on the homework is by pi over two. So for the x starting from zero and then the increment pi over two, the next gonna be pi and then three pi over two and the last point will be two pi. The function is y equals three times psi x. The quick way to consider the function value based on the graph of the psi, we call the psi graph will start at zero, go up to the max, to the zero minimum, and go back to the zero. The maximum is one, minimum is negative one for the cycle or the complete cycle of two pi. So the five key points of the psi value would be starting from the zero and then maximum, which is one, and then back to the zero and minimum and then zero. With this way, the table can be completed by looking at the three multiplied by the value from each point of the five key points the first is zero and then maximum, zero, minimum, and then zero. Simplify to be zero, three, zero, negative three, and zero. If you look for the order pair that we're gonna plot on the graph, gonna be the order pair x comma y in the form of zero, zero for the first point, pi over two for uh, the second one and the value is three. The next gonna be pi comma zero three pi over two comma negative three. And the last one would be two pi comma zero. And to plot the graph, the maximum is three, minimum is negative three. Locate the maximum, locate the minimum. And then the five key points, the zero, pi over two, pi, three pi over two and two pi. The first one is at zero, zero. The next one is pi over two, three. Next is pi comma zero. The fourth one is three pi over two comma uh, negative three. And the last is two pi comma zero. And then connect all five points with the smooth curve with the shape of the sine function. With this, you can see that the graph has the amplitude equals three. And the way to compute or to verify the amplitude from the graph, other than using the absolute value of the A equals three by looking at the max. So gonna be one half, sorry. So gonna be, uh, let me clean up this. We know that the maximum is three and minimum is ne negative three. To compute the amplitude from the graph is one half multiplied by the max minus the minimum value. In our case, the max is three, minimum is negative three. 
Therefore, we have one half multiplied by six or the value three that is matching with the absolute value of the A.